Hi everyone, Shelby here. Welcome back to A Little Literary Love. I'm glad you all are with me today because today's video I'm very excited about. I'm basically just going to be raving about my favorite authors in this video. Um, this is going to be my auto buy authors. Um, so that means like where you see on Amazon there's like the one click um, just to immediately buy something. Um, these are my one click kind of authors. Um, these are authors that doesn't matter what they write, um, whatever new book they t decide to pick or decide to put out, excuse me, I'm probably going to read it. Even if I don't get to it right away, it's definitely going on my TBR list. I will eventually get to it. These are authors that I want to read their entire backlist. Um, these are just authors that I love and I love everything about their writing. Um, and yeah, so I'm just going to be raving about all of them so that you know my favorite authors. These authors I just, I can't get enough of. I will read just about anything that they put out, whatever they decide to write. Even if it's like super far outside their typical normal genre. All right, cool. I'm here for it. I'll try it out. But yeah, so we're going to get right into it. Most of these, I would guess probably are not going to come as a surprise because I already rave about all of these authors and all of my prior videos. Um, so if you're new here, it might be new for you finding out. But if you've been with me for a while, then yeah, these won't come as a surprise at all. So we're going to go right into it. I have several, several authors, if you could not tell from my thumbnail. So many books. Um, First one, of course, Sierra Simone. This was her latest release um, in the Lainey's trilogy. Um, she should have more books of this series. Like the second book, I think at least should be coming out later this year. I'm here for it. Anything that Sierra Simone writes, I'm going to read it. Um, Sierra Simone is one of those authors. She writes very um, deeply emotional stories that are high, high, high steam. She is an erotic romance author. Um, she also has a lot of stories that are like retellings of either classic literature or um, uh, mythology. Um, so like this one is a Tristan and Isolde retelling. She also has a Jane Eyre retelling. Um, she has Camelot retelling. And I just... I know I'm going to cry in her books. I know I'm going to hurt. There's going to be a lot of pain and emotions in her books. And I know I'm also going to be blushing reading her books because like I said, they are very, very high steam. I love anything that she puts out. Hi everyone, editing Shelby here. So one of the authors that I wanted to talk to you about that is my auto by author, um, the book that I actually held up is now um, traditionally published under St. Martin's Press or one of the companies underneath St. Martin's Press. Um, I am currently participating in the boycott of St. Martin's Press. So I am going to, I cut out that little bit where I was using that book and to instead um, show you her, one of her indie published books, um, Daughter of No Worlds, which I have not actually read this one, um, but I do want to continue to support this author because I really enjoy her writing. Um, in her book that is now unfortunately traditionally published, it was picked up by one of the St. Martin's Press publishers. Um, I I really liked Carissa Broadbent's writing. Um, I loved her world building and her magic system. And I also especially loved the emotion that she invokes in her stories. Her female character is just so raw and so real and is put through the ringer. Um, but she fights back and she just, it's just so beautiful to see. Um, so I'm her I've heard that this one is just as good and I cannot wait to get to this one. But Carissa Bobbin, I just I was just blown about blown away when I read her stories. Um and like I said, the sheer emotion that she invoked and the tenacity of her her characters, especially her female characters, just so remarkable and I absolutely loved it and I will continue to buy Carissa Broadbent books although I may not actually um 
her new release books if they are published under this publishing house I will probably not promote them on my social media um, until this boycott is over if it ever will be over um, if you would like more information on this boycott I will leave um, a link down below to the website for it um, but yes so now back to the rest of the video then of course Sarah Kate Sarah Kate has just blown up and I'm so happy for her. She was honestly an author that I liked before she became really popular and now that she has became super popular with her Salacious Players Club series I'm just like blown away that everybody else is seeing a, how phenomenal of a writer she is. Um, the Antihero was one of my favorite books from last year. I'm so so excited for more books of the series to come out. Um, I know she has the second book and I believe the third book later on in the year will be coming out. Um, she also has a book coming out with um, one of Katie, Katie, um, why am I blanking on her name? Katie Roberts um, Kickstarters. Um, so and then if she decides to write any more books, I'm going to read them. Whatever it is that she puts out, I'm going to read it. I can't wait for it. Then Pam Godwin. I absolutely love Pam Godwin. I still have not finished her backlist yet, um, but I plan to. I really want to read more from this author. Um, she writes mostly dark romance, and when I say dark, like it's dark like probably some of the darkest books that I have read. Um, this is one of my all-time favorite books. Um, she has so much, again, emotion in her stories. Um, and especially if you see up here, right here, I have the Deliver series. Um, that series, she's able to write this villainous character that I absolutely fell in love with, that I hated when I first met him. And then she makes me love her characters like her writing just like sucks me in and I can't stop reading so I'm super excited to read more from Pam Godwin she does have a trilogy that is coming out this year and I just cannot wait to get to it and read just everything from her then we have Sarah Blue. She is kind of one of those authors that is more of a another like new auto buy author. Um, she does have some books that were not my favorite, but anytime that I pick up one of her books, I know I'm going to have a good time. They're really easy to breeze through. She's hilarious. Um, she writes mostly Omegaverse stories and then this one is like paranormal fantasy. Um, she does have a book and then I think she's coming out with a few more books um, that are contemporary and I honestly whatever she decides to put out I want to read it. Even if I end up not liking it I still want to read it. I also just like fun little doohickey fun fact whatever. I absolutely love her dedications in her books. They are absolutely hilarious. So this is her dedication. This is her like special edition um, hardcover of Charming Your Dad. Um, but her dedication says, for my pretty bitches, P.S. Ryan, I'm glad we never fucked. You made a crude song about my name. So I named a villain after you. Middle finger emoji. And that's how most of her books are her dedications in them and I I love it I think it's hilarious and yeah like I said anytime she I see her on social media and she pops up like oh hey I've got this new book coming out like I don't care what it is I want to read it then of course Sarah J Mouse. I'm a Sarah J Mouse stan whatever does she decides to write she's another author that I don't always like everything that she puts out and that's okay but whatever she does decide to put out especially now that the Crescent City like main trilogy is done whatever next book she decides to do I'm gonna read it I'm here for it I cannot wait she just has incredible world building and her characters absolutely are what I fall for every time in her books just their sheer tenacity and strength her character growth is on par some of the best character growth I have ever read and I absolutely love it character growth is some of my like 
my bread and butter. I just, mm, I love it so much. Then I have Gianna Darling. Gianna Darling, I, I debated putting her on this list because there are some books that she puts out that I'm like not super excited for. But she's also has written some of my absolute all time favorite books, like bar none, head and shoulders above the rest. I love them with my whole heart and soul. So I just, I felt like I had to put this on here because even though if she puts something out, I'm not always excited for it. I know at some point I'm probably going to read it. I'm probably going to end up reading her entire backlist. This series, especially the um, Fallen Men series is one of my absolute favorites. I love this entire series and I cannot wait for her to put up more out. Um, then she's got some series that were not my favorites. Um, and she's got a new trilogy coming out that ties into those series. So I'm kind of like on the fence. I kind of want to read them, but I just don't know how I feel about it. But at the same time, if I'm being honest with myself, I'm probably going to read them because Gianna Darling's writing is just so beautiful. Some of the best writing I have ever read and her stories are so emotional. So I just, I'm probably going to cave and read whatever she puts out just because I can't help myself. I just need to read more. I, I need more. It's kind of like an addiction almost. I need more of her writing. So even if it's a book that I'm not looking forward to, that I don't really care for, I'm still going to read it because I need more of her writing, if that makes sense. Then Ruby Dixon. Ruby Dixon is such a comfort read for me, especially this series. She has such a large, large backlist. She has so many books that she has written. And I really want to read all of her books, although I know it's going to take me a while. But she just, I don't know, a lot of her books follow like the same formula but they're just so comforting to read. I just love them so much. And I love that this series is kind of getting a resurgence. She's getting all of these special editions, special covers for this series. I'm buying every single one that comes out. Um, if there are special editions for any of her other books, I'm buying them too. I just, anything she puts out, I know I'm going to love and it's going to be a good time. And there's going to be lots of good sexy times in there. And I just, mm, I love her so much. And then we have Emily Rath. I have honestly only read this book from her, but I loved it so much that I immediately wanted to read every single thing that she has written. And I cannot wait to continue on with this series. Um, she writes a lot of polyamory type stories. Um, she does have some historical romance polyamory that I'm super excited to get to. She does have one Omegaverse story. And then next year, I believe it's at the beginning of next year, she is putting out a, um, a like Viking fantasy duet. Um, I think it might be sapphic. I don't remember, but I'm just, I'm so here for it. I loved all of the characters in this one. I just, I really jived with her writing style. And like I said, I just want to gobble up everything that she puts out. It's just so good. Then we have Katie Robert. I am a long time Katie Robert fan before she became a um, traditionally published author. Um, back when she wrote this series that was independently published and then now she's just exploded and she's everywhere and I love that for her because she always writes lots of queer stories and I love seeing that now in like mainstream bookstores. Um, so I just can't wait to continue supporting her. I am very behind on her books. I got very behind with her books with because she puts out so many books a year. Like even before, like she slowed down a lot, but it used to be like she was putting out like a book 
every couple months and it was like insane how much she was putting out um so I'm pretty behind but I know eventually I'm gonna get around to reading all of her books any new book that she puts out I automatically buy it even if I'm not gonna get to it right away I just I love her stories she writes some of the best sex scenes I have ever read like sex scenes like because she has a lot of books that feature multiple partners um so like the um just the logistics of it where like people's hands and limbs are going like it makes sense how she writes it in here and it's easy for like my brain to understand so so good um and her stories are just so delectable and easy to read and I gobble them up and I love it. Then we have Nikki Sloan who is a, another autobi author. Um, I have read almost all of Nikki Sloan's books. Um, there's just a few left that I have to get to. I love her stories. They're so um, good. She writes all these like contemporary stories. Um, she is another very good erotic romance author. Some of these books that she has written have some of the steamiest scenes I have ever read in my life. They're just like, oh, especially if I like this series, the Nash Hot, um, Nashville, what is it called? Nashville Neighborhood Series. Excuse me. I knew it was something Nashville. Oh my goodness, I listened to several of these books on audio and I had to stop quite a few times because it was just like very steamy. So whatever she decides to put out, I'm going to read. Um, I have not heard her announce any new books yet, um, but I'm hopeful that we will get more from her for this year. I just... I love her so much. And then the last author that I have to talk about is going to be Kennedy Ryan, which I actually have my um, bookmark because this is what I'm currently reading right now, Real by Kennedy Ryan. Um, she is another author that just writes very deeply emotional stories that just pulls you in. And the steam is so good. Um, her grip trilogy is one of my all time favorite series. I sobbed, sobbed reading that one. Um, she has a new book coming out, which honestly may already be out by the time I post this video. Um, and I cannot wait to get to it. I just want to devour and read anything that Kennedy Ryan writes. She is just um, such a beautiful writer. She's such a beautiful person too. And I just, I, I love her so much. So that was the quickest I could make quick rundown of my auto by authors. These are like my, some of my favorite authors of all time. I love them all so much and I can't wait to continue to support them and buy their books. Um, and I would really encourage all of you to check out these authors too if you have not done so already. Um, I just, I can't rave about them enough. Um, but yeah, so if you enjoyed this video, please thumbs up. Um, leave a comment down below. I love hearing from you all as well. Um, leave a comment with some of your favorite authors or your auto buy authors. And then, you know, subscribe if you haven't already. I really appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. Bye guys. Bye.